Hey guys, today we are talking about Dragonwood the game. Now, this is a game that I play with my family, so I have a little bit of experience with it. It's not really a complicated game. It looks a little more complicated than it is. So let's take a look at what's in the box. When we open the box, we have some instructions, which they're important and you want to keep those because every now and then you're going to have questions. You have these dice that you use to play to win certain items that you're trying to get. And then you have these cards. Now these cards, they come in colors with numbers that help you decide how you're going to play your next move. So you want to gain like all tens or all oranges or numbers in a sequence. And that determines how you win. Uh, let's see, I'm looking for those cards. Here they are. So there are cards out. Those are these. And they're upside down. Nope, yep, they were upside down. So here, we got crazy bats. So if I want crazy bats, I'm either going to strike, stomp, or laugh at the crazy bats. And that's decided by a strike might be like the sequence of numbers. See, I don't even know what it is. Um, a strike is numbers in a row, a sequence of numbers, like one, two, three. Stomp is your cards are the same number, like all one, 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 one. And scream is all cards of the same color. Now, the way you decide this is maybe I have three cards of the same color. So same color is a stomp. So I have three cards of the same color. So I'm going to stomp at crazy bats. So what I need to do is stomp at crazy bats. I need three points to get the crazy bats card, which will be one point in value when I have it, all right? I know this is getting confusing, but it's really not. You'll get the hang of this real quick. So I want to stomp crazy bats, and I have to score three to get this card. Now, how do I do that? So stomp three, and I said I have three cards that I'm trading in. So with three cards, I get three dice to roll. Well, actually, that's gonna be a guaranteed win because the lowest number on any die is one. So if I roll three dice, I'm guaranteed to have at least three points. So I'm going to win Crazy Bats. So now I have one card worth one point. And I'm going to collect these throughout the game. You see, this one is Spooky Spiders. There's another Crazy Bats. Ooh, here's a Giggling Goblin. He's worth two points. Wasp Nest, worth two points. And, oh, here's one worth seven. It's the Orange Dragon is worth seven points, but you see it's harder to get. I need higher points on my dice to be able to get it. So maybe I want to use all six dice. So I need to have six cards of either the same color, the same number, or in sequence to be able to roll six dice. So that is how this game works. It's a fairly easy game, and you'll use a little bit of strategy to decide how you're going to play to win as many cards or as many points as possible. Overall, it's been a fun game to play with my family. I highly recommend it. I hope this review is helpful for you to decide whether or not Dragonwood is a good game for you.